so we're still sewing. What happened was the battery voltage built up really good and um, now it's basically selling all that extra voltage um, off the top of the battery so that's why we we're selling it appears to be selling so much. It's starting to go down now. Um, Six hundred and sixty, and staying steady at about seventeen, eighteen hundred watts. So, I didn't have a chance to before, but I want to show you guys the uh, the disconnect, um, the solar disconnect, and uh, the two breakers that I put in. Um, the wiring's fairly simple, but um, I just have the two twenties right here that I put in for the two Kyseras and on the bottom you know pluses are coming into the bottom of the breakers and then the minuses are going to the uh, negative bus here so I ran you know two conduits so I ran this one here which goes over to that set of panels and then the one coming out of the bottom right here, it's going over to these set of panels right here. So, um, anyway, that's the disconnect. And it's fully loaded. I can't put any more breakers in it. So if I want to get more solar panels, then I'm going to have to get another, uh, an, you know, another disconnect. But um, personally, I would not recommend... Um, at least this particular model of the midnight solar disconnect because <clears throat> the way the breakers are held on to the back of this thing it's a den rail in the back they kind of hook on to the back there and the thing if you do anything with it it just falls off so it's a real bear to, to get this cover plate back on and then also to be able to shut the door all the way it's just everything is just kind of loose and just sort of hanging out in there so I'd probably go with an outback disconnect or something like that but um, this thing is uh, doing its job anyway so anyway that's that there they are You'll notice this, the one at the very end is sort of at more of an angle than the rest of them. I'm not so worried about that. But in the summertime, when the sun gets a little bit higher in the sky, right now it's October. So, uh, usually in the summer, spring and summer I'm probably going to get a lot more output out of these once the sun is more perpendicular to them there's the old trusty transformer progress energy one thing I forgot to mention um, in some of my other videos um, was the uh, the ARE um, uh, voltage clamp controller for the wind turbine. Um, one of the things I had to do was uh, get an RS-232 um, cable, male on one side, female on the other, and plug it onto this board back here that's in the controller and that's how you program this controller um, to adjust the voltage and right now um, currently um, when the wind is blowing really hard it the software it's a just binary code that you put in um, with uh, the command prompt and uh, um, you program that in and it currently limits the voltage to 101 volts um, so basically, it keeps the, I guess, the controller from overloading, even though the FM80 can go all the way up to 150. I'm not sure why they stop it at 101. Um, but if you go to stats, 
Okay, so right there you see maximum voltage was 101. And at that time I was getting a max of 3461 um, watts. Um, so th this is the maximum wattage that that turbine has put out. Although, um, back here, I've actually registered it um, right here at um, 3500 watts. But it was, uh, I guess, only there for a certain, you know, a brief period of time. So it didn't uh, register it under the stats here. So that's interesting. I could call ARE and say, hey, I'd like to get the voltage up higher, maybe to 120 or something like that. And what they could do is um, send me some more code and I can program this box again to make the voltage go up higher. Um, so theoretically, since they're limiting the voltage at 101, if I could get it up to 120, 130, then I bet we could see maximum wattage of, uh, you know, between four, maybe close to 5,000 watts. And talking with the ARE guy um, in the lab, they've seen their turbines, the ARE 110s, get up to over 4,000 watts. But I guess uh, you got to put limits on stuff so things don't get damaged. So. There's a wind menu here, and if you know the key here, if you enter that key in, um, I don't know what the key is, you can get inside this FM80 and program it and put your own um, your wind curve, um, power curve information in there, and you could probably make this work with any turbine, um, especially like the axial flux wind turbines that people are making, um, which are so popular. And the day that that happens, that we can start programming these FM80s, um, will be the day that people can just make their own wind turbine and put this multi-power point tracker controller on it and get an enormous amount of output out of them. And that would be sweet. So.